How's it going, man? Well, you're not in the drug I'm not you. saying he does, but we're not going to stay. He's got a phone in his right. Yeah, what? He's got a phone in his because right no cargo pocket. I can't, I can't tell what's in it. Yeah. Next to the EMS station, prison center. Or the worship center. Yes, I'm sorry. No, Cooks. Yeah, we're here right now. No, it's it's Cook's Lane. Sorry. I'm in bum. Disturbance. It's causing the scene. We just want to talk to you about it. You're not a truck. What's going on? Let's see. Well, let's, 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 let's see. Several years back, okay. that man committed the state jail felony. He stole three thousand two hundred fifty dollars from it, from it, okay. and Pasco would not prosecute. Right. This money was put in. Twelve ten, twelve eight. Be advised, we're going to be around back. And it was released to him. Taxes and Be advised, we're going to be around the back of the building. Are you okay? Huh? Are, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm really. nervous. Oh, you got a medical problem. I mean, you're okay. Well, 12, 10 or so. 12, 10, go ahead. Myself and 1207 are going to be at the worship center on Cook's Lane for a disturbance. 10, 4. We'll be. Right. 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 It stays here where the money is to come from. The attorney told us each side has to pay it off. Okay, I got you. I never spoke to the man when he came in. And, yeah. Uh, in fact, I filed assault charges against him yeah. in Franklin Court. Okay. But there was tonight, what happened tonight? Anything happened tonight? I no. Mean, no. You make me address to he told me that people disappear in Robinson really? County. Okay. I understand. You don't, you don't have any, you don't carry a pocket knife or yes, a gun I, or nothing? Pocket knife stays with me year like round. Okay, you're good. You don't have a My home sits right over the end. Where's over there? That big white van. <laughs> got my dog in it. Oh, okay. I live I in that you. van. Yeah. But you don't have anything, no, no gun on your anything right now? No. Yeah. We'll see. Well, he called the surf department on me one time. It hurt. I went to his office to talk to him. My attorney had quit. Yeah. And so just caring for myself. Right. I go into his office. I leave and go to the courthouse. He and I was the only two people that knew I was going to the courthouse. Right. Somebody called the sheriff's department and sent them over there yeah. to frisk me. Yeah. Hey, sir, you have a driver's license on you? Yeah. We just want to identify. We have to do a call for service. Uh, Anytime we get called anywhere, we just do a call for service. We have to identify everybody. Uh, well, yes, that way we got law on paperwork I and everything. I understand that. <laughs> that man does not need to be a judge. He does not need to I be understand. in that position. And he knows it, or he wouldn't have started mm. this yet here. I talked to a lady about this today, right. and she said, don't question him. Yeah. Don't look at him. No. 
and I never made an eye contact with him. Right. I walked straight in the door. So you're not living in Dyke, Texas yes. anymore? I bought a house up there in Dyke. Okay. But I stay here some. Right. I stay up there some. Okay. Hey, ain't nobody faulting you for that. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, we just want to check it out. We did. They said there was a disturbance so, late. In it. Uh, I will let the people in here know that he called. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're not here. We're not here to harass you. We're here just oh, to sorry, simply identify, go, make sure there's no problem. Twelve ten or so, Texas twenty seven. Zero six seven one three six six five. Zero six seven one three six six five. This was the final accounting. You seen on there for each side was supposed to take care of their own. Right. Back to the back what does he do? This is the money that was in the county that was put in his trust fund to pay mm -hmm. this. What's the first thing that went out of this money? Yeah. Okay. This was the disbursements on that money right here. See, the 6500. Mm -hmm. 10 Okay, there it is. 20 last name. 0671365. Thank you, ma'am. In gross, it's your check of $491.61. Yeah. Is that theft? <laughs> is that a violation of this code right here, which right. did the detective for the county attorney right. told this to me? They said this is a violation of fiduciary duty, right. which is a state jail felony 3245. And uh, for him to do this right here shows you what kind of an individual he is. Sir, I'll tell you right now, I get back to that. You're good to go. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't see you got a right to force your opinion as long as, you know, I don't you didn't make any, as long as you're making any threats or anything like that. Or, he's threatened me. Yeah. And also the district attorney, Mr. Pasco, threatened me. Do you have a smartphone? Huh? Do you have a smartphone? Well, it's, I think it's right there. It's a lot smarter. Than I, <laughs> I like to think the same thing about it. <laughs> okay, so you got an iPhone. Well, pretty much what I'm saying I is. The only thing I use this for is to text and call people. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. so, okay. so on your iPhone, it has a thing on there for uh, uh, voice recordings. Yeah. So if something like that happens again, either you can hit the camera button and do a video. And you can record where you're at right now. <laughs> Slide like, it over to where it's at. Record our conversation yeah. right now. Yeah. Slide over to video or, or something like that. And I can't, for some reason, I can't find that voice recording. But it's got something in here for a voice recorder. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. Voice yeah, memos. Right there. Yeah. So you can click on that, and that way you can put it in your pocket, and, it and it's record recording the whole entire right. time. So, I mean, that's good for if something does happen, well, that way. I'll tell you something else you done. I was in the, in the courthouse up here, passing this flyer out mm. right here. I gave one to Stem. Stem walked around the corner and throws it in the trash can. Yeah. So, well, I knew he was. So, Russ comes up to me. Walked up, started, walked right up, found out, and walked up, and walked up. Yeah, doing that. And he was wanting me to hit him. Yeah. And I just kept my hands down to the side and tried like this. And one of the secretaries in the clerk's door, I was at the top of the second flight of stairs, mm -hmm. and one of the secretaries sitting in the clerk's office, I would not name her. Mm -hmm. Because had I named her, she wouldn't have had a job. Right. So I went and filed the complaint over at the police station. And 
That was far as it went. You right. went to you went to our, to Franklin Police yep. or you went Franklin. to or the went to county? Franklin with that. Okay. And I went to her But you went with county up here. At Sheriff's Department. Yeah, the courthouse would be county. Yeah. Well, I'm saying that you went, you went to the sheriff's oh. department to file whatever complaints you had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You wouldn't, you didn't go to Franklin PD. Okay. Well, no. I went to an office. I would, didn't, didn't go to the sheriff's department. They told me. Code four. Uh, no need for status checks. So that's what I went to the city and right. filed it. How long ago was that? Oh, that's, that was in about oh three. Yeah, okay. A long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. It's, it's time. Yeah, it's but, but before I've been there. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> the lady in the, in the, the secretary for the district attorney told me, she looked at her, oh, that's old. That's <clears> old. <throat> I bit my tongue to keep from replying. I started to ask her, were you telling me those ladies that are coming out? accusing Weinstein of sexual harassment and rape and all of this stuff has no right to say that because a lot of that was old. Yeah. So. I understand. Well, yeah, as long as you don't make any threats, I, I mean, like he said, you're good to go. And like, like I told you, you have a smartphone, use it to your advantage. If you get put in a situation where somebody's threatening you or cussing you out or doing something like that, so that way you can show it to us and we have, you know, actual audio or visual a lady, proof. A lady that's inside told me today, said, do not say nothing to him. Mm -hmm. Your presence is going to be enough to upset him. Right. <laughs> so that's what I used. Yeah. Just being here with these in my hand because he knows what's in this. Right. So he feels threatened, so he's going to okay. call y'all and accuse. But anyhow, we are free to go. Y'all have a great night. You, you too, sir. I'm walking here with you, but I'm walking out the other way. Okay. I'm going to walk behind you. Dude, I wasn't trying to tell Brian to take it. Terry called me. I mean, we're all sitting there. I'll let Brian know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, uh, I, I I don't know why I said Hearn cooks. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Well, see, when I blew, did you see me blow by that car? Yeah. Because worship center, I was thinking about the Baptist church. No, this is the worship center. So when you, well, I know, but the Baptist church has a worship center that they do. Yeah. Sunday school anyway. So that's what I was thinking. About. And you said Hearn Street. I'm like, what's on Hearn Street? Yeah. Is your radio down? 12, 10 or so. Okay, go ahead. Everything's going to be code 4 and you show our units tonight. Okay, 4 units, thank you. 